What's up guys, it's your boy Spider Productions here and today we are here with a trailer for Superman and Lois Season 2 on the CW. Guys, I love this fucking show. This show is so good. This show definitely made me found... I mean, I already loved Superman, I'm not gonna lie to you, but I felt like there wasn't enough Superman content out there, to be honest, especially recently. So, I've been loving this show. This show blew my expectations when it came out on the CW. I was a little bit worried when the show came out. But honestly, this show blew my expectations. This shit was fantastic. I love it so much. So, obviously, when I heard supposedly on Instagram that the Season 2 trailer, or it's a one minute of Season 2, came out, of course I was going to react to it with you guys, because why not? It's, it's Superman and Lois. I hope it still keeps its epicness from last season and it doesn't dip down like other shows tend to do. But, um, <laughs> but without further ado, let's check it out. I won't waste no time. I want to see what they gave us for this season. Things haven't been okay for months. And I have been blaming you. Always something to worry about in there. What? Please just talk to me about what's bothering you. Is it the Natalie thing? No, no, what? Please, no! Let's go. I want to make sure we don't attract any unwanted attention. You mean the kind you get from flying around the world with Superman? Whoa! You're more of a liability than a hero. I asked you, are you part of my team? What you asked for was my allegiance to America. You refused to. Because I gave it to the world a long time ago. Let me go with you, just to watch your back. Clark? You're back! Son, home alone to have no, this is a national security. What the situation. hell? No, it is a family situation. Superman and Lois. <laughs> what? Boy, what? Ew. Hold on. Nah, -uh. we gotta watch that again. Hold the hold up. <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on. Wait, what? Hold on. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? I knew there was going to be an issue with. Clark and Lois eventually. Ah, uh, man. I hope, man, they're gonna get into a fight. And it's over the Natalie thing, which I guess makes sense. But now it has me worried, because I don't want to see them get into, into any arguments. Alright, let me rewatch this. Things haven't been okay for months. And I have been blaming you. Always something to worry about in there. The summary and signature. Just it's talk to me about what's bothering you. Is it the Natalie thing? No, no, what? That I'm going to show you to be like this. I don't know, man. Let's go. I want to make sure we don't attract any unwanted attention. You mean the kind you get from flying around the world with Superman? Yeah, Natalie's going to be part of the show now. As a series regular, I think. The hero. Yeah, that's a new guy running the DEO. What you asked for was my allegiance to America. You refused to. Because I gave it to the world a long time ago. Let me go with you, just to watch your back. Clark? You're back! What's happening here? We left our son home alone to have- No, this is a national security situation. No, it is a family situation. Superman and Lois, new episodes January 11th, from next day, only on the CW app. I knew Sam wasn't gonna leave the show after... after he left the DEO, but I feel like- or DEO, uh, the, 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 the DOD. But I feel like he should he shouldn't have left. I understand why he did, but I feel like he shouldn't have left. He's the only person we could trust working there. Now that it's not him, it, it feels like now Clark is going to be dealing with this, this, this other dude who's working at the, at the DOD. Yeah, Clark's working with the DOD, which I don't understand why, because I remember when in, in Supergirl Season 4, Clark was telling Supergirl that you don't need to work for an organization to be a superhero. And he's right. He's right. You don't need to work with a secret organization to be a superhero. But yet he's falling for the same trope. He's working with the DOD, the Department of Defense. And he's working with them to be a hero. I mean, I, he's still doing his hero thing without them. But I feel like he's falling for the same trope that he just told Kara not to do. Like, don't work for a secret organization, or secret. Don't work for a government organization to be a hero. Just do your own thing. Now, it looks like Lois and Clark are having issues because of the Natalie thing. 
which I figured was going to get brought up because I did hear that the actress who plays Natalie is supposed to be a series regular. So she's going to be around along with John Henry Irons, which it looks like since John is wearing the suit that we're going to be seeing him work with Superman in this season, which I cannot wait for. Um, it also looks like uh, this whole summer in segment looks crazy. It looks like Clark was like having crazy visions or something like that. So yeah, they're having beef about about the whole Natalie situation. And it looks like they're talking to he's talking to the boys about this too. Yeah, it looks like the suit's beat up. Or it doesn't look like it's from last season. It looked like it was from something else. Maybe it could have been from last season. I don't know. But her hairstyle is different, so I don't think so. So maybe this is from a different episode. Yeah, she's still not crazy about working with Superman. I figured that was going to be the beef. The beef was going to be Lois getting used to the whole Natalie thing and Natalie not fucking with Superman because Superman is not is one married to her her mother technically and Superman destroyed half their world on that on that world and now John has to change her mind and has to realize that he's not evil because he's not. Man, this is gonna be crazy. It's gonna be a great season. I can already tell. I hope it's good. I really hope so because last season was fantastic. Loved it so much. Yeah, this whole summer rig segment looks great. I'm not gonna lie, with Clark's hairstyle like this, he kind of reminds me of Henry Cavill Superman a little bit. I heard that they said that the suit changes for Clark in this season was his boots have like that V neck. Or that V stripe, like his usual boots have, like his usual boots have the V stripes. It looks like that's what they said his suit in this trailer has, and also it looks like the colors on him are a little bit brighter. The red is a bit more brighter on him this season, which I kind of mess with. I mess with the fact that it's brighter. I mess with that a lot, but I can't wait. I can't wait. I think they said the new season was supposed to come on January, January eleventh. Trying to remember. Class starts around that time. January 11th. I believe class doesn't start for me until... Yeah. So class starts for me two weeks after the show comes out. So I will have two full weeks of watching this show. And I cannot wait. Because I love this freaking show. It's so good. But yeah, Clark definitely looks like freaking... Tyler Hecklin looks like Henry Cavill in that scene. He looks just like Henry, Ca like Henry Cavill. Right there, bro. That, that hair... I mean, it's obvious because it's raining, but that hair looks like Henry Cavill, though. Which I hope we also get Henry Cavill back in Superman in the movies. Yeah, so it looks like that submarine scene seems to be the focus of this uh, of this trailer. So something must happen at the at the something must happen at that scene because when you see him again, Clark like has these like crazy headaches and visions or something because he was sitting there. Telling Lois to get back, and Clark was like freaking out. Yeah, like, what, what, what is that? Because all of them are feeling, I think, the same thing. That's cute. The kids running around like Superman. That's cool. I like that. I like how bright the cape is. I like these visuals. So good. I love how bright the cape is. That's what I love so much. Because last season, the cape wasn't so bright, but it was it was noticeable. But it's so bright here, and I like it. I like it a lot. And it looks like he has less padding. He has less muscle padding. Because last season, he was built. Like, he, it, the muscle padding made him look big. Like, I know Tyler Hecklin got big for this role as well. But they made Clark look built last season. Like, his chest area. Now nah, it doesn't look like he's as built. Which is fine, because they want Tyler Hecklin to have a little bit more muscle. So, he's probably still got some muscle, but he's still got some padding underneath the suit as well. Yo, that yo, that shot right there. Hold up. Hold up. That shot? When he was just flying? Yo! Yo, this show is crazy! The shots are insane! Where is he flying to? It looks like he... I hope... Honestly, I know that it would be probably left field if the show did this, but I would like to see Superman fly to other planets. This scene gave me an idea that what the Superman and Lois show should do eventually. It doesn't have to do it this season, but eventually I feel like Clark should be able to travel to other planets 
and like deal with other problems on other worlds because Superman yes Superman does deal with problems on Earth but he also helps people on other planets as well so I wonder if they'll ever have other people from other planets other than Kryptonians show up and be a threat I'm curious if that ever is going to be a thing okay so it looks like Jordan wants to help Clark which I heard eventually I feel like Jordan was going to probably want to get involved in being Superboy eventually but I I don't think Clark wants him to get involved and that's understandable that's his kid he doesn't want his kid to get involved in the business that he's doing but I can understand Jordan having all these powers and not knowing what to do with them like yeah he's hiding but he can't really be himself but then again he can't really be a superhero because if he's a superhero everybody will see his face because unlike Clark, Clark wore glasses majority of his life until he became Superman. Nobody really knew anything about Clark Kent when he became Superman. So when he became an adult, nobody guessed that he was Clark. But with Jordan, Jordan has lived up his whole life so far without glasses or anything covering his face like that. So if he were to become Superboy, everyone would... Oh, that's, that's Jordan. That means his dad is Superman. Like, it'd be obvious. So I don't know if that's a smart idea. But, I mean, who knows? But, I'm not going to lie. Honestly, I still wish Jonathan would get powers, but I understand why they're not going to give him powers right now. Or at least, probably not, because they want to keep it. Like, Lois, Jonathan don't have powers. Clark and Jordan do have powers. So, have that balance between the family. Makes sense. But, if they give Jordan powers, I want him to wear the suit that Jonathan wears in the Superman Rebirth comic where Clark wears this, like, suit. I love this suit, by the way. It's my favorite Superman suit. Um, when Clark wears this suit, Jordan wears this, like, jacket type of Superman symbol. It's, re it's a really interesting design. I like it. It's, it's cool. I want Jordan to wear that. Because I gave it to the world a long time ago. Let me go with you, just to watch your back. Yeah, so Jordan wants to watch his back. But what is this? Clark's, like, having, like, like headaches or visions or what is it yeah, yo what is happening i'm gonna go let me go with you just to watch your back Clark? you're like what's 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 going on here and it looks like he has that same type of energy surge that he did when that um when Kilgrave shot him with the sonic ray last season and he had that, 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 like, his ears, his, like, head was, like, lit up like this. I'm, like, analyzing every single scene from this. Because this, this, this is really good. I can't wait for the show to come back. I just can't wait till we watch Spider-Man. Like, I know that's a derail. This is DC. But, like, I just, like, Superman and Spider-Man are, like, my two favorite superheroes. So to see both content with them, great content right now. Tom Holland and all the other Spider-People possibly coming back along with the great villains that comes back as well. And then Superman and Lois coming back for a second season, bro, it's gonna kill it. You left our son home alone to have- No, this is a net. Okay, so yeah, what, what is this? <laughs> Jonathan, yo! <laughs> so I assume that's uh, that toxic ass female from last season, bro. You said- Jonathan, you're you're going into a death trap, my dude. You're in a death trap, my guy. It's, it looks like Jonathan is 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 messing around with that uh that that stuck up toxic girl. I, 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 bro, she was toxic. Like that girl is just bad news. Like all around, red flags. It's, like it's just it's not the type of girl you want to mess with. So I'm interested to see how this is gonna go. Um. Yeah, cause they, yeah, I guess because they were kind of they started to get together towards the end of the episode, and then now Jonathan is Jonathan's with her and Jordan's with uh, Sarah. So, I mean, a hey, I guess we'll see where it leads. But and, and it, Lois is mad at Clark for leaving Jonathan alone to have sex with his girlfriend. I mean, hey, you, you gotta grow up at some point. Like, I, I understand it. But Clark was probably busy doing other stuff. He is a superhero, so I mean, I can't really blame him for that. Security situation. Yo, is Clark lifting the submarine? Jesus. This is a great shot, yo. 
No, it is a family situation. Superman and Lois, new episodes January 11th. Free next oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. So, guys, there you have it. Superman and Lois, season two trailer. Can't wait to see this guy with you guys on the channel. If you guys enjoyed my trailer reaction and breakdown, because this was actually a breakdown of this trailer. If you enjoyed that, let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of this trailer. Drop a like on the video for your boy. Hit the subscribe button to be part of the community. And hit bell notifications so you guys know when I shop us next. And I'll see you guys in the next reaction. Peace out.